to Sketchbook and Chill. My name's Kat and welcome to my first live stream on YouTube. I'm very, very excited. Um, it's nice to be able to stream and show my face, so hello, um, but also to be able to stream here on YouTube. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to be here. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name's Kat. My pronouns are they, them, and sketchbook and chill sessions are basically just the time that I take out of my general day to sketch and chill. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So um, I hope you can come and join me. Do say hello in the chat. I'd love to get to know you all. And today we are pretty much going to be painting a lot of botanicals. So lots of plants and flowers and things that we associate with autumn and winter because it's that time of year. So I'm going to get on with the drawing while people are joining and yeah, I hope you enjoy today's stream. future seasons <laughs> so I'm just gonna draw in some funky looking shapes in pencil first and then I will get my watercolors out hi Joe hi Mula hello can you hear me okay I hope so a little bit better now. It's always difficult on the first go to try and figure out the best especially because it's all very new on YouTube and the sound quality on OBS is so good. Let me know if it's any better now, whether I need to adjust it. Because what I'll do is I'll make sure to save those settings. okay to me now cool brilliant thank you so yeah I thought I'd go against what I've been doing this week on Instagram and actually just paint some pumpkins because it is autumn and I haven't painted any pumpkins since my pumpkin collection so I figured today is probably a good day to do it much better oh that's good that is good but thank you for joining me today. I was really nervous coming on to here. I don't know why. I'm not normally that nervous about lives, but I think because it's a potentially a different audience, it's always really nerve wracking. 
Oh, and typical, there's a nice fire alarm. No, not a fire alarm, a uh, car alarm going on in the background. So if you do hear urban noises, unfortunately that kind of comes with the territory. Um, I do get a lot of um, traffic and things like that, but unfortunately it's just too warm not to have the window open today. <laughs> It's nice to see my face, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get it so that the camera is looking at me better. Yeah, I felt the same on my YouTube live for that reason. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's nerve wracking. I think because I'm so used to having, you know, similar people um, on my Instagram and you you always make me feel really welcome and um, just yeah it's just warm and lovely over there but I hope that it will eventually feel like that here too um, but I suppose it's one of those things you just gotta warm up to really so I'm just putting in a lot of the basic colours in here and then I will go through for some details. What have you been up to today? Nuna I saw that you've been um, printing off some lovely stickers. stuff today I've been doing some more work on my winter collection if you haven't seen my latest vlog I've been updating a lot on my winter collection over there so I'm really really excited about that um, that should be good to go for tests tomorrow I was hoping to test today but there's a few things that I wanted just to get in but hopefully going to do some test sheets today, uh, sorry, tomorrow for at least one of the sticker sheets that I have planned. Yes, I got them all cut and got some content planning done. Fantastic. Nice. It's nice when you can plan ahead. I've, um, I've got a nice list of content planning that I will start doing next week. I might be able to do it Friday actually, but I don't know. It depends on how much time I've got. I'm working on a commission for Lovely Craig. Oh, that's nice. lovely like I, I really enjoy doing commissions I haven't done any commissions for ages um, just because I've been so busy and I've been trying to prioritize my collections um, but I think I might reopen them for market season in November just because I think it might be good just to have a couple of slots so I will probably open those up. It's difficult to gauge though because it depends completely on what people want as well. Sometimes um, 
they might be subjects that I've not done before or not done too many so yeah it's always a bit of a, a gamble really but I think I'd love I would love if someone had some like lizards or some really interesting pets they would love painting. I would love that. I find commissions scary. When it's yours, you just need to be happy with it. When it's a commission, they also need to be happy with it. Yeah, and, and I get that. Like, I think when I, like my first ever commission, um, it was the lovely Michael, and it was, <laughs> wait, it was so nerve wracking because, um, First of all, he's an artist and a very experienced illustrator, so I was very nervous. Um, and then, but then, um, after his, I kind of got myself into the groove with it a little bit, um, because he gave me such a brilliant piece of advice where if people like your art, they will like what you do so as long as they are fans they will love it I think the most difficult commissions for me had been those that I'd gotten from people that I didn't know and didn't actually follow me on Instagram or anything um, who wanted just pet portraits um, and those were slightly more difficult commissions to do because I think they had very different expectations as to how they wanted the commissions to turn out. So, yeah, I suppose it, it varies for me. It depends on who you're painting for. So, yeah, I keep forgetting to look at this camera because I forget that you're filming. I'm filming myself, so I'm very sorry. Music has gotten louder or you've gotten quiet can't hear you as loud as before. Oh. Let's bring Spotify down a little bit. Not as, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Maybe I just need to be a little bit louder. I think working on audio is going to be very difficult until I've got um, mics. And I really, really want to get some a decent audio mic. And I'm thinking that if I make any sales this month and into November the money towards that will be getting in, investing into a decent mic because I think having a lapel mic in particular would be really useful um, what I might do actually is I might do what I thought I was going to do to start off with but I I do have headphones, so bear with. Let's put on my sexy headphones. Whoop. I just realized I taped them. Bear with. So let's change. Okay, is that better? Can you hear me a lot better? Hopefully. I found client work nerve wracking, as always thought I'd be the same with commissions, but I suppose it's someone if it's someone who likes your work then it's a li it's a bit less nerve-wracking yeah i think very much so 
that's where I was anyway. I'm going to wait to see if this is any better. Am I any better with the headphones on? If the headset is better, then I'll keep the headset. Otherwise, I will shift to no headset. <laughs> I can hear you the same, but no music now. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think we're going to scrap the headphone idea. And I might just turn up. Let's see if I can turn this up a little bit. No difference in hearing me. Okay. Let's see if this is different. I think maybe I should just talk a little bit louder, maybe. I think because I'm so used to um, having the mic from my phone that is slightly different when it's on, on there. I think this live session is definitely going to be a test to see how we get on for the future. But yeah, I definitely want to get in, I definitely want to get a lapel mic. And I definitely want to get um, a standalone mic too. Just even if it's something like a studio mic, um, just so that I can capture my sound better for videos and things. But that's the plan. Please be better. Otherwise, I might cry. Your speaking volume is fine. The music was just a touch louder. The balance of the tune seemed fine to me now, though. Okay, cool. All right, so hopefully, hopefully, it's okay. And um, the music is still there, but it's only in the background. the thing really you don't really want to I don't want it to be complete silence when I'm not talking but I also want to obviously be heard over the music so yeah it's always trying to get that balance you are being very very helpful I think it's hard to because with playlists sometimes the song has just been mastered louder so others so um than others so it can throw things off yeah that's the only problem so eventually what i'd like to do is use my own music that i can that i know is balanced in a specific way 
And like I say, with a mic as well, I think I can manage that. Um, I am using OBS and I'm trying to, every time you kind of let me know about the levels, I am adjusting it slightly on there. So I do have a little bit of control on there. It's just very difficult to figure out like how it how it listens. I think what I need to do probably is to log on to my um, iPad and check it on there as well. But for a first session, hopefully it's okay. Loving getting these pumpkins done, which are really cute. My budgie is currently sitting on top of my phone, pecking the screen where your hand is painting. <laughs> oh, Pepper. I was um, spending quite a lot of time this week um, also planning some new products so I will let you know what they are here so one of my plans um, that I'm going to be testing this week and you'll be able to see in this week's vlog is I am taking a lot of the line drawings for a lot of my artworks so it's mainly the botanicals, so the plants and, and things. Um, and I'm hoping to test so that I can sell um, some painting, like blanks, if you, li if you like. So as little A5 cards where you can paint your own painting using my designs. And it's basically where the line art is printed off and then you paint with some little instructions on how I've, this is the reference that I've used and this is how you paint them. Um, so I'm testing that this week to see if that works. Um, I'm trying to get it so that I know which, what level of ink how much to put on each of the page because it will be done on watercolour paper so it's quite difficult to gauge so I'm working on that this week and I want to try and get those done for um, November so if people want to buy gifts they can and yeah so that's my new little plan I'm also planning, I've ordered some bits for greetings cards. I am doing greetings cards this year. There will be a little bit of a twist with the greetings cards because you know me, I don't like to do things in standard ways. So yeah, there will be some bits around that. Um, so keep your, your eyes peeled lots going on in this week's vlog tons and tons your budgie is too cute <laughs> I want a budgie <laughs> she was trying to steal my crisps five minutes ago amazing the attitude I love it and that sounds really cool yeah I am um, yeah my plan was to basically have some nice little sets that people can sell as gifts sorry buy as gifts because I don't really do anything other than obviously my stationery set specifically I don't do anything that's actually specifically gifts so excuse the noise in the background it's my partner who's just gone home excuse me I mean how rude you know 
interrupting us, having this sterling conversation about my my gifts. Thankfully, um, I'm glad that you are all here. So I don't feel so nervous anymore, which is good. How dare they? <laughs> I know. Shocking. You know, they've only been at work all day, slaving away. Appreciate with my with the camera facing this way, you can also probably really appreciate how tiny our living room is for space in comparison to a lot of the big studios that you see. Because right behind me is the kitchen. Oh, and off they go. <laughs> I think we need a formal apology from the partner. <laughs> it was really sweet, actually. I was, um, I said to him earlier, because he rang up and said, oh, I know that you're going live at three, so I thought I'd ring now. I thought, oh, that's really sweet. Um, and I'm very, very lucky with my partner. Like, I could sing their praises all day. Um, but yeah, um, so I was like, yeah, it's no problem. I said, I'll, sh I'll shut the door. And then they said, oh, I'll hang out in the other room. And I said, oh, that's okay. You know, you do what you need to. Um, and yeah, it was just really funny. I knew, I knew that today of all days, he would finish early. <laughs> and he did. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of wash down here. I was saying to them actually that. Um, said some of the best times to obviously go live on YouTube is later on in the day so you know six seven eight o'clock at night so I will be doing that eventually um, but I think I want to try and start doing that when I have um, better audio equipment um, so basically come November so these sessions will be pretty much three till four, I think, for the time being. And then we will see kind of how we get on. I share my office with my hubby and so he's he will always pretty much be there in the background if I'm live in the evening yeah that's the thing it's one of those things where I think you know it's it's a very privileged position to have your own space to work in and to go live on um, and I would love it but at the end of the day I've just got to be 
you know, really honest and just say, you know, this is this is my life. I don't have anywhere that I can disappear to. We don't have a spare room or anything, unfortunately. Um, I'm alright with it. And especially when I'm when I do gaming on my gaming channel. I will be um, I'll be sat right next to him, so that'll be fun. <laughs> add that a little bit. I prefer earlier lives as I can join in. Later ones tend to miss as we're busy. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, So for me, I get why people like later lives because obviously more people are home and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes I just like to see the daytime crowd. <laughs> you know, because not everybody works full-time hours or, you know, all that stuff. So... That's why I want to keep my um, my lives like flexible, so I can do Mondays at eleven because I've got Mondays at eleven now and Wednesdays at eleven, which I think I'll always keep because they're just easier hours. And then the rest of the time it will just be as and when. I go live in the evening because the kiddo's asleep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because then it's easier for you then. I'm super grateful for having the space to have a shared office. It's one of the things we'd hope for when we're looking for homes. Yeah, we, um, so we live in a two bed flat and, um, the dream eventually is to move out, obviously, um, into my dream van that I keep banging on about but until then there's no point in us well but there's absolutely no way that we can even afford to look at anywhere else so with private rent being so expensive now we are very lucky here our landlord has been great although not so lucky in the fact that we've got lots of work so that's going to be going on but yeah Contemplated doing one during the day when he's at school. Yeah, maybe you should. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, I was thinking that I might do, um, when I do my gaming. So, obviously, I said that, you know, once a month on here, I will do a gaming one just where I can have a bit of a QA and a and a little bit of a catch up and just, you know, announce what's going on and do what have you um but eventually what i'd like to do is split my time so that during the day i do actually go live and game during the day um once a week um in the hopes that you know i get some really nice um, folks enjoying me watching over there as well, you know. The question on everyone's lips, though, is when is Joe going to go live? Are you going to go live? Even if it's showing off some products. Joe, do you want to go live with me this week? Do you want to join in on one of my sketchbook and chill lives and we can have a bit of a chat? And in fact, Nula, do you want to do some too? I was thinking of um, asking some folks if they wanted to do it this week, so you're both here. <laughs> Unlucky. Do you want to join in? <laughs> For the record, anyone that's watching back, um, I'm gonna try and do it so that you can see the chat when I post this. Um, but Joe has, 
she's very nervous about going live. And um, I keep winding her up about it. <laughs> and I don't feel bad because I think she's great when she's live and it was great fun having you last time. So I don't feel bad about it. I love having a play in my sketchbook. It's just so nice. Just to splatter a bit of paint around and just pretend like that nothing, well, because it doesn't matter. If this turns out terribly, it doesn't matter. Um, but I do love these sessions. A lot more freeing than when I'm concentrating and doing my um, art prints and I'm like, oh, really focused. Busy depends on the time of day. If partner is off, any time works. If not, then I'll have to be in school times. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll have to try and coordinate. Wow, I've been streaming for half an hour. That is pretty good. What do we think of the lovely pumpkins so far I'll leave them to dry for a bit I didn't get myself any water that was silly I'm just gonna have a look at some other references <clears throat> oh, actually that's a good idea I think I might Depending on how much this is pulled. Hmm. Yeah, I might wait for this to dry a little bit. And then go in with some details. Typos galore. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all good. Like you say, just blame it on the budgie. Blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on moonlight. Blame it on the budgie. Pumpkins look fab. Can't believe how much you've done in 30 minutes. Thank you. I think because I've met I've painted so many that I've just gotten really quick now with pumpkins. There are certain, like, there are certain plants and fruits that I just, I can just whip up really quickly. Um, and then other things take forever. I definitely want to practice more of are a lot more flowers I'm not so good at florals as I used to be I think that's because I've not really done any in a while so I could really do with practicing some more florals which I might do in the next session keeps flying down and landing on my head while I type. Honestly, that budgie. I really miss having company during the day, I must admit. I, I'd love to have a little kitten or a little poochie, but it's just not possible here. I think a cat maybe um, if we kept them indoors but I just don't like keeping um, cats indoors in somewhere so small if, if our apartment was a lot bigger I would I wouldn't mind so much but it's not that big so um, I'd feel really bad Mainly because I know how mischievous cats are and how much they love being outside. <laughs> it's 
same with dogs really i think if i could go and walk the dog all the time i would um but because of my disability at the moment it's just not possible so um it's something that i think eventually we might be able to do but by that point hopefully we'll be living the van life self-promotion if anyone wants to go and check out my autumn collection stationery you can help improve the audio on this video and also improve my, the chances of us moving out into a van so I can do this full-time with my partner I think that's perfectly legit to promote your own stuff on your own life, right? I don't do enough of it, really. When it comes to the watercolour, um, just if you are interested in the way that I paint, um, I paint in a lot of layers. It's the way, it's always the way that I like painting with watercolour. Not everyone paints in a similar way. Um, some people use it a lot more loosely um, I quite like layering a lot of color and putting a lot of color down so that's just the style that I tend to do um, I'd love a cat too. Pepper has never been this affectionate or social. It's taken us by surprise. But she's suddenly so keen. She's always been really chatty, but usually from a distance. Aww. She's getting softer in her old age. I think it's cute. At one point, we had two house rabbits and three dogs. <laughs> nice. Now two dogs and a hamster. What's your hamster called? I love little hamsters. We had little Russian dwarf hamsters and they were adorable when I was a kid. Um, back then we lived in the country and we had two dogs, uh, three hamsters, two cats and stick insects and a lot of other wildlife outside. Um, yeah, I love that, it was great. I'm gonna move this a little bit this way so you can see as I'm putting in the details. Hamster is called Delilah. Ah, All at one time, cat? Yes. Yep, we had all of those animals all at one time. Oh, actually, we had a goldfish too. We had a goldfish. Yeah, we had the three hamsters, two dogs, two cats, and a goldfish. And a sick insect. In fact, I think there might have even been two stick insects. Yeah. My, um, I don't really talk about my family too much. As you know, if you are new around here, I have a estranged family. Um, but, my estranged family on one side a lot of them were um, really big animal people so they, we had um, a lot of dogs and a lot of cats and a lot of a lot of animals and pets when we were younger We had a dog when I was a kid and I had a lovely old dog for a little while a couple of years ago. Aww. Dogs are lovely. Like, dogs are just so loving 
and yeah, they're just lovely. Actually, I had a goldfish, a goldfish as a kid too, yeah. Um, goldfish, I think we had like maybe two or three over the course of, you know, being a kid. One of those things where you, um, you just accrue them, don't you? I think the, my first ever goldfish, in fact, I think we got at a fair. Do you remember when you could, like, win goldfish at fairs? Fairgrounds for anyone. Um, and carnivals. We lived in Somerset and they were big on their carnivals and fairs. And so we always used to go. One of the best ones was Bridgewater Carnival, or Bridges, we used to call it. Bridgewater in Somerset, that was really fun. I was talking to someone on Instagram actually and they live in Bridgie and they said that the the fair is huge now and it's completely changed very modern and all that kind of stuff now we used to love it I used to go out underage <laughs> oh the shenanigans I'd be totally lost without my fur babies. Yeah. I love Taunton Carnival. Taunton Carnival was epic. I was in Wellington Carnival. I used to live in Wellington. That's where I went to school. So if there's any any Somerset folks around or anyone that's lived in Somerset, that's where I used to live. sneaky younger cat I was a rebel which I know is very surprising because I'm so innocent now <laughs> um, but yeah I was a real rebel my first kiss was at Bridgie Carnival Actually, no, it wasn't my first kiss, my second kiss. My second kiss was a bridging carnival. It was very sneaky. And the first time I ever got really, really, really drunk and had to be taken home to very disappointed parents was after Taunton Carnival. <laughs> they were not impressed. But I think kids go through, you know, all of these things. You know, you test your parents' patience and whatever. I'm very chill about that kind of stuff. Obviously, I wouldn't ever encourage over underage drinking or consumption of anything, really. But we all know that kids are going to do it. No matter how you hope that they will be good, kids always mess up because that's the whole point of being a kid, right? My first kiss was at a disco with a person I was crushing on. I felt very cool after. Nice! See? That is cool. Oh, the, the 
feeling of that first kiss and your first love and all that stuff. It's cute. Not always cute, <laughs> but sometimes it's cute. time. Oh, we've got about eight minutes left. So I think I'm just going to pop another layer of some darker browns in here. I went through my own stuff but despite some overindulgence I was generally smart and made good choices so my parents trusted me. Nice. Yeah, I was a terrible kid. Um, I was, sorry, I was a really good kid. And then I, well, I left school. I left um, home when I was 16. And yeah, I was a very much a, a big rebel. Looking back, some of it was justified, some of it wasn't. But yeah. You live and you learn, don't you? And I'm definitely a better person for the experiences that I went through as a kid. lessons and all that yeah exactly exactly I will tilt this up so that you can see but yeah they're not too bad they're pretty cute cute little pumpkins it looks a bit weird because they're at a funny angle but there we go ta -da! The orange one definitely needs some more work, but I quite like the green one. But no, thank you for joining me on my first live. If you are watching back, um, thank you for watching. Um, I The plan is to go live every week. So I'm going to be going every week on a Tuesday for the time being. So between three and four. Um, and then come November I will probably switch it up so that I will have one that's later in the day um, but if you want to see more and you want to keep up with what I'm up to you can follow me anywhere at Kitty Creates Rainbows you can visit my website which is kittycreatesrainbows.com and you can find me pretty much every day except for thursdays over on instagram at kitty creates rainbows but thank you so so much especially to bella and archie studios joe and lacuna moon co which is nula for having a nice little chat and i will see you in the next one goodbye